going on, everybody? 360 Digital Closing Bell live on YouTube for an undisclosed location here in Denver, Colorado. I am your humble, humble correspondent, Michael Tanner, joined as always by the purveyor of the show, executive producer of the show, director and publisher of the world's greatest website, www.oilandgas360.com. Stuart Turley, Stu, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. It's a beautiful day. Now, we have a great um, digital ticker lined up for you guys today. Um, we got my one big thing is I'm just going to be talking about this insane crude oil price and why I think maybe it's a little overvalued. Stu's got some stuff from the international news desk. And before we dive into the digital ticker, I need to do a little shameless plug um, for the 360 Digital Oil Closing podcast. You can find that on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube. And if you are not already subscribed, please do that right now. It's the best way to stay up there on everything from an energy finance perspective. We just cut a show yesterday, or actually just five, five minutes ago. That should be up tomorrow in your inbox before the market opens. And it is a great, great, great 360 Digital Closing. But you can also check out the Energy 360 Network by Intercom. It's the best place to find all of your energy thought leadership, iTunes, Spotify, and as always, the world's greatest website, www.oilandgas360.com. We have a new news. We have a new Twitter news feed that's out there. You can go follow at OAG360 underscore news. It's the Oil and Gas 360 news desk. Highly recommend. It's the best way. If you are on Twitter, to stay up to date on everything that has to do with your new stuff. As always, the show is brought to you by Adam and Team Energy. But when we move into the digital ticker, I mean, it was green all, really, everything pretty much closed green outside of energy equity. So um, SPY 2852 up 1.5%. NASDAQ down 90.45 or down 45 point, or excuse me, up 45 points, 0.5 percent increase. Tech stocks doing okay. 23,625 for the Dow Jones, up 337 points, or about a 1.62 percent increase. Crude oil doing very well, up 8.74 percent, two dollars and twenty cents, all the way up to 27.49. Back into the curve, 12 month strip, 76 cents increase, so about a 2.3 percent increase. 12 month strip, just doing a little bit better, five percent increase, uh, five cent in- increase, excuse me, with three point four percent dollar sixty seven and one penny on the nose or and a quarter penny on and one point one penny on the nose excuse me back into the curve two dollars and eighty cents for natural gas twelve month strip only down about two pennies about one point oh five percent our XOP which is our EMP securities contract as I mentioned the only negative one on the day down point seven percent about forty seven sixty three Oil Field Services, which is our OIH contract, up $1.54, closing above $100 to $193, up 1.15%. We look at our biggest movers on the day. On the downside, CRC, California Resources Corporation, down 15% to $1.27. Uh, EAC Marcellus Trust, down 25% to $0.44. Cents. Comstock Resources, down $4.40. Uh, four dollars to four dollars and forty nine cents. Excuse me, that's down uh, thirty point nine percent. Our friend Jerry Jones runs that company. Um, when we look at the upside, um, Airvesco Corporation ticker symbol ENSV up sixteen cents to eleven point or eleven point seven percent. Sanchez Midstream Partners up twelve percent to two uh, to thirty eight point two five cents. Excuse me. Ultra participants. I'm not even sure what this bigger. It seems like it's an offshore public one. It was up third ticker symbol. UGP, I'm not even going to try to mess up the spelling on this one. Ticker symbol UGP up $2.59, 13.6%. Stu, what's going on in the international news desk? Well, hey, we just talked about a lot of the LNG and natural gas. Uh, India currently uh, has uh, only 6% of their total energy is uh, natural gas. However, they just have another uh, LNG port coming online, and they have another four more that are already uh, in the works to cooking. So pretty uh, big stuff happening in India with natural gas. I love it. I love it. And as always, you keep us updated on the international news specs. My one big thing for the day is really just this. I mean, crude oil price is extremely high right now. I think, you know, we saw a good EIA drop yesterday, 300,000 or uh, 0.7 million all right, 0.7 million barrel draw from a total Cushing, Cushing down 3 million barrels. But really, there's a lot of demand numbers that have come out both from the EIA and the IEA. IEA, again, forecasted record demand drop in, in 2020. It was down. Um, EIA expects crude stockpiles to shrink about, by about 5.5 million barrels for that second half. The supply demand dynamics, the number they actually talked about. They expect 2020 global oil demand to shrink by 9.07 million barrels per day, which is an increase than its original forecast of 6.85. So large, large demand drop numbers, and I think that's why oil price might be slightly high, and it's why I'm moving into next week on a bearish tone. And with that, we're going to go and let you guys get back to work. Thank you for checking out the 360 Digital Club.